Open Media Vault versus TrueNS. If you're like me and love building your own NS, you've probably heard about Open Media Vault, OMV, and TrueNS Scale. I've used both extensively on different setups, from beefy mini iTex builds to low powered single board computers. And I figured it's time to share my honest take on which NAS OS might be right for you. Spoiler, they're both solid, but they shine in different ways depending on your goals and hardware. Let's start with the basics. TrueNAS Scale might say it runs on most 64 bit processors, but in reality, you really want at least 8 gigabytes of RAM for it to be usable. Below that, it struggles. I tried running it on an older dual-core Intel box with 4 gigabyte RAM and nope, it crawled. Forget about VMs or containers on anything underpowered. Meanwhile, OMV runs on practically anything. I got it working on a cheap ARM SBC and even managed to run a version of it on my Milk V Jupiter Risk V board. Sure, I had to deal with some plug-in compatibility issues, but still, it ran. If you're reviving old hardware or playing around with low-power devices, OMV is your friend. When it comes to network shares, both OSs support SMB and NFS, which is what most of us need for typical file sharing across devices. But TrueNAS Scale goes a step further by including I6I support out of the box. If you're into block-level sharing, like for VMs or more advanced setups, that's a win. With OMV, you'll need to install a plugin for that. So while both are solid for typical home NAS setups, Scale wins by a hair for having more built-in flexibility. I didn't expect this at first, but OMV supports a ton of file systems right from the start. EXT4, BTRFS, XFS, JFS, you name it. And yes, with a plugin, you can even use ZFS. TrueNAS Scale, on the other hand, is ZFS only. Now don't get me wrong, I love ZFS. Snapshots, checksums, compression, it's amazing. But sometimes, I want choices. Maybe I want something lighter, like EXT4 for a quick test drive, or BTRFS for COAL functionality without going full ZFS. With OMV, you've got that flexibility. RAID support is where TrueNAS Scale just dominates. It offers not just the usual RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID Z1, 2, 3, but also DRAID, great if you're building more complex setups or want better fault tolerance. OMV supports basic RAID profiles, especially if you're using BTRFS, but it's limited to RAID 0, 1, 10, and DUP. It's fine for typical home users, but scale clearly has the edge if you're serious about data protection or large drive arrays. When it comes to running virtual machines or containers, TrueNAS Scale has built-in support. You can spin up Debian VMs, run Docker containers, or self-host apps with a click or two. I've run everything from Nextcloud to Jellyfin without breaking a sweat. OMV doesn't have that out of the box, but there are excellent plugins to add Docker, Portainer, KVM, even Kubernetes. It's just a bit more hands-on. So if you're not afraid of tinkering, OMV can definitely catch up here. Still, TrueNAS Scale is more polished on this front and wins in terms of user experience and ease of use. As for transfer speeds, I did some basic speed tests with the WD Blue 500 gigabyte HDD and a crucial one terabyte NVMe SSD over a 10 gigabyte network. TrueNAS Scale consistently delivered better read and write speeds across the board, especially with ZFS and SMB shares. OMV wasn't bad by any means, but Scale squeezed out more performance, especially with SSD caching and large file transfers. So which one's better? Well, it depends on your needs. If you've got decent hardware, at least 8 gigabyte RAM, want advanced RAID and ZFS features, plan to run VMs and containers with minimal setup, and care about top tier performance, go with TrueNAS Scale. If you're working with older or lower power hardware, like having multiple file system choices, don't mind adding plugins for extra functionality, or just want a lightweight, simple NAS, go with Open Media Vault. Personally, I use OMV on my budget setups and scale on my main NAS. They both have a place in my home lab, and I honestly appreciate what each brings to the table. Hope this helped if you're trying to choose between them. Let me know if you want a step-by-step -step setup guide or plug-in recommendations.